Hello guys, and welcome to this lesson. Today we are going to talk about HTML links. So what is an HTML link? An HTML link is a hyperlink, okay? And we use them just to jump from one web page to another web page. Or you can also use them to jump from your own web page to any other external link. Let's look at an example. Here, I have a complete website. Right now, I am currently in the home page, which is the index.html. If we click here on portfolio, and then we look at this link here, which is go to about us. When we click there, Right now, we're jumping from the home page to the about that HTML page. Again, right now, we are currently on the about that HTML page, and we can jump to our team page, which is this one right here. Notice how you can see the difference on the link because each name with the HTML extension is a new web page. Okay. So let's go back. Three things to keep in mind. When you create an, a link, you use the a tag and you use that the a open tag. And remember you have to also close the tag. So let's, Go ahead and try it. Yeah, I'm here. Clicking here. Let me just put this down. And I'm just going to open the A tag and close the A tag. Now I'm just going to click save. This is my page here, which is the index.html. I click here and I don't see any link. Okay. So when we are working with links, we need two things. First, we need to add a test, which is going to add as a label. Okay. For example, I type go to google.com. So right now, this is my label. Please note that you can use a text or you can also use an image as a label. It doesn't have to be only text. So I'm just going to click save. I'm going to go back to my web page, which is here. It's the same. And you're going to see here, go to google.com. But right now, if I click on it, this doesn't work. So remember that I told you we need two things. So let me just go back and let me just add another, the other thing, which is the attribute, which is edge ref equal. And here we add the location where we want to go. For example, in this case, we want to go to google.com. Okay. Just going to click save. I'm going to go back to my web page, refresh the web page, and I'm just going to click here. So my link says go to google.com. If I click there, it should take me to google.com. Oops, didn't work. So maybe I have a typo on the word google.com. Who knows? Maybe I put an N instead of an M. Let's go back and check. So as a developer, the first thing you want to try is if it, this thing really exists. Okay. You want to know if you make a mistake or something like that. So I'm just going to go ahead and just copy this link and paste the link here 
and just click enter and it works so if it's working let me just go back and do the the reverse you know let's let's do it backward now let me just copy the link from here just copy and just paste the link here mm, something's different here as you guys can see the https well let's see if it works click save just gonna refresh my page let me go back refresh the page if i click there it should take me to google.com now it works so what's happened when you're trying to use link okay especially external links from other domain we're going to talk about domain later you're going to know what this means why we use the www that what this means here and then we're going to know what it is here okay that's going to be later on this lesson well not in this lesson in a few more lessons but for now just know that every time you're trying to refer to a link you need to use the https some browser they might work if you only add the www.google.com but if you really want to be safe you need to use the https or use the whole thing okay so let's go back and let's keep reading on the three things that we need to keep in mind when working with links so the other thing that i mentioned before was the attribute which is um we're going to talk about the attribute on this slide so let me just go back to this one and basically this attribute is tell the browser the destination of the link okay for now we have the oops sorry let me just go back for now we have the google.com okay and then the third thing that you have to keep in mind is that the content of the a tag or a element act as a label for the link as i mentioned before okay also keep in mind that you can use images or anything you want that it could be used as a label for your link so what is an attribute okay sorry about that just do over here so what is an attribute an attribute well the best definition for the attribute is that um is support attack okay so okay yes they give you a way to specify additional information about an element okay for example if you want to go to a file we're going to create these file later so if you want to go to a file the attribute we know this specific attribute here we tell the destination of the hyperlink or new page which is contact.html in our example we have google.com okay also you can refer for um for images okay we're going to talk about this attribute here later on and the source attribute will specify the file name of the image to display on your web page okay and finally when we get into css we're going to be talking about the style tag which is also have the attribute type okay but for now let's go back to the page there it is and please note that again you need the whole thing to specify the domain okay and we're going to use another attribute here, which is called target. Okay. And then we're going to use the value blank. Let me make a pause there. So again, an attribute, as you guys can see, it is supporting the tag. It is helping the tag to do something else besides just doing nothing. For example, if we have this tag here, 
They are not doing nothing here. They just explain this information. They just explain what it is. Okay. For example, H1, which is the heading, H2, which is this, H3, which is this. Okay. And of course, again, if we have this a tag without the attribute, let me just click save. You guys can see that I have a link here and I just refresh the page and it's not even a link anymore. Okay. So the a tag is not what really make the link It's also the attribute that is supporting the a tag to become a link. So let me just go back and reverse that. The attributes are very useful because without it, HTML will just be simple test. They just be like nothing to do and just write information without having like um, anything to, I would say anything just to do basically. Okay. Um, on the next lesson, we're going to create our own files and use it to, um, to use them as a navigation or also to use it as a link. Okay. Just go ahead and show you what we're going to be creating. We are going to create the contact.html file, which is another web page will contain information about where people can contact you if they want to get your servers or, so, or stuff like that. We also going to have an image tag. Okay. And then we're going to download an image just to see how you can just display an image inside your web page. And finally, as I was mentioned before, we had this target blank. Okay which is help you to open a tag, a new tab, sorry, when you click there. There you go. So right now this is my page and this is the new tab. I gotta explain also why do you want to do something like this? Instead of just clicking here, just changing this domain to become this here. You will see on the next lesson.